Okay, we're getting set for travel season with travel and lifestyle expert Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington. So let's start off with budgeting and currency first. Yes, yeah, so that's a big thing when you're traveling, you're always kind of worried about how much am I actually spending when you're using your credit card. You kind of never really know until you get home yeah, and then you get the bill. <laughs> if it's different currency, right? You yeah. think, oh, in the heat of the moment, oh, that looks all right. Yeah, and then you realize, exactly. Oh. But there's a really great option for you. So WISE is a universal account and it is fully transparent so you'll always always know exactly what you're spending and you can link your bank account to it. So that means that you are tapping your card, you can get a physical card or you can have it on your Apple wallet or your, your wallet on your phone. Okay. Use it anywhere you go. You don't have to worry about whether your credit card is working or not at some of these uh, locations if you're in Europe or the States. It just makes it so easy. Again, it's so transparent. There are no hidden fees here so you know exactly what you're spending. They have over 40 different currencies that you can work with. You can also have it saved on there so you can transfer money back and forth internationally if you want to. You just go to wise.com. It's such a useful tool. I can't tell you how many times I've come back from a trip and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, how much money did I actually spend mm -hmm. with all these extra credit card fees? So this is a great option to manage your budget while you're doing this. Okay, and is there a fee for it? There's not. There's not a fee for Canadians when you sign up for this account. Okay. So it's a really cool tool. So just go to wise.com. You can get all the details on how to easily link your account. Okay. Where are people going this year? Okay, so there are a couple of things. Booking.com just did a brand new survey. They, I think it was over 31,000 people that they surveyed over 34 countries, and they were asking them about sustainability because that's a huge trend in travel mm -hmm. these days. So when it came down to Canadians, it's, they found out that 78% of Canadians are wanting to do something sustainable when they travel, and 73% of them want to leave the place in a better spot than when they arrived. But I mean, sustainability and travel, it can be confusing. It can be really daunting to figure out where am I going to go? How am I going to do this? And it just kind of weighs people down when it comes to their vacation. So one easy thing to do is to look for the destinations on a place like booking.com. You can find a little checkpoint where you can check off a sustainability certificate, and that will find hotels and uh, flights that have a more sustainable feature for you. Okay. So it's an easy way to kind of look at doing that without kind of doing too much planning and too much research. Okay, what about road trips? Ooh, one of my favorite things is definitely finding a way to upgrade your road trip a little bit. You know, you wanna make sure that when you're traveling somewhere, you're comfortable, maybe you're traveling with a lot of people, so you wanna fit in a lot of people that you maybe couldn't get into your car normally. So Churro is a great option. I've talked about them before yes, yeah. here because I just love them. They're a car sharing app. It's Canada's number one car sharing app. And they're really great because you can elevate your style a little bit. You can get a great luxury SUV. Let's say if you're going to a music festival with a bunch of your friends, you could get an electric vehicle if you're looking to again do that sustainability mm -hmm. side of things. Uh, if you go to Churro.com, you can download the app and check out everything. That, tons of filters to fill out what you want if you want something pet friendly, but they also just announced that they're available for pickup and drop off at some key airports in Canada. So Toronto Pearson, Calgary and Vancouver, which just makes it so much easier if you're going out west to Vancouver for a yeah. trip, you want to rent a car or do the car sharing thing with Turo, then you can just pick it up and drop it off at the airport. Easy peasy. Okay, we've got a, about a minute left, but there's a new way of affordably really upgrading your flight. Yes. So if you're looking to get into that business class feature, I say affordably, <laughs> comparatively. <laughs> comparatively. <laughs> if you're looking to get into business class, I definitely recommend trying out Condor Airlines if you're going to Europe. So they have new direct flights from Toronto Pearson to Frankfurt, which is a great connecting hub. But what's great with them is that they have a brand new uh, business class feature. So they have lie flat seats, they have a great food and amenity kit. So you, I mean, when I went on this, I was just, is this you? so is much this your video here. Yes. So you can see it's so cozy and roomy. You get that amenity kit. You have some wine and some champagne. You land in Frankfurt. And then if you want to kind of upgrade that travel experience a little bit more, don't stay in Frankfurt. You can take a 30 minute train and go straight into the wine region in Mainz in Germany. It's right on the Rhine, the wine capital of Germany. So you can go to some wine bars there, check out some of that great Riesling. Why not do that for our summer vacation? Oh, that's, and that's where you're just back from. Yes. Like last night. Yes. So thank you for coming in. Great tips. And we'll get all your um, all your links up on our website, chch.com slash morning live.